Howdy everyone, in my Google homepage feed a little while ago, I came across an article about this little thing, Tokina's Peony 2 camera necklace, and thinking that it looked very cute and that my four-year-old daughter might like to give it a try, I got in touch with Tokina, who kindly shipped one over for me to test. Thank you very much, Tokina, and just look at this tiny thing. It fits nicely between your fingers or around your neck, it weighs virtually nothing, but insert a formatted micro SD card and charge the battery of course and it'll take pictures for you or some very rudimentary video. At 35 US dollars it could be a nice little Christmas or birthday present for a photography obsessed family member, and while it's currently only officially available in Asian countries, it's actually not too difficult to find online, and it comes in a number of colours. The camera charges up with an old mini USB port, and can also connect to your computer that way for file transfer. The instruction manual only comes in Japanese, but Tokino's representative was able to get me an English translation, which instructs you to format your micro SD card to FAT32 before use, and warns you that it will only accept cards which are 16 gigabytes or smaller. I found an old 32 gigabyte card though, which seemed to work okay. You turn the camera on by holding the on off button, and turn it off again by holding the same button down for a little over 3 seconds. When the viewfinder lights up red, then the camera is in still shot mode. Press the mode button for it to light up blue, which is video mode, and press again for it to light up purple, which is for recording audio only. Press the on off button quickly to take a picture or to start or stop recording. And, well, that's it really. The idea is that you wear this thing around your neck all day and grab a picture here and there whenever you like. How's the picture and video quality? Absolutely terrible, as expected. You have to remember that this thing really is just a toy, a piece of fun. Remember, it only has a 1.2 megapixel sensor and only costs $35. All the picture quality problems of a cheap and cheerful camera are right here. One particular issue is that most of my pictures came out wonky, tilted to the left. I assume that's a fault with this particular unit's sensor being misaligned. The video runs at 720 by 480 and at 30 frames a second, although again, it's just for fun here, really. So that is my very short review of the Peony 2, there's really not much more to talk about it to be honest. It's a very cute little thing, although I had hoped for a bit more from that camera, a bit more image quality. You know, I'd like to see a slightly more expensive version of this thing with a decent quality camera on it.